No, you need to go for broke. Yeah, I mean, if I draw the game, I'm probably guaranteed a, sh a share of first. But you know what? The chance of going 11 out of 11, it really does not happen. Like, that's you're not going to have many chances to go 11 out of 11. So I'm definitely going to go for it, like, for sure. Well, okay, we're starting. Let's play knight f3 here. Highest blitz rating. Um, is, I, I have that record. I think it's 33-32, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go here. Vichy and I commentate on the candidates. Um... Yeah, let's let's focus. Hey Tommy F for the three months. Hey Tommy F, appreciate it. Okay, let's go here. Hmm. It's actually not a great position. I guess I'll go here and Queenie two maybe. I guess I'll go Knight G two and take the pawn probably. It's just chess. Okay, I can take the pawn. I can also take the bishop. I'm going to take the pawn, though, for now. Get up at 4 a.m. and cover the candidates. Oh, wait. i got to be careful. Okay, let's take... I think I just develop and castle, maybe. I'm, maybe I'll go the other way, too. Probably knight a3 next move. I don't love my position, but I think it's okay. Let's go... Let's go here. I think f4 makes sense. I have to be very careful how I play this. I'm going to go f4 and just castle next move. I think my position is okay here. It's not great, but it's it's actually really not very good. But if I could get this knight, this knight is a big problem here. Place g5, okay. I can take. Take and go here, maybe a knight e4. He let me get my knight out. And because he let me get my knight out, I think I'm okay now. 93, I guess I just take and go 94. I don't love my position, but I think the worst is over now. Because once my knight gets out, eventually, eventually his two bishops will be really, really good on the two diagonals, basically. Uh, there's an increment, one second increment. You do, you do uh, get time. Just play whatever and win the end game, kind of. Sometimes that's true. Thank you to Maestro for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Maestro. Thank you. He's very deep in the tank here. Yeah. I don't know what he's trying. Is he trying to make knight before work? I don't know why he's so deep in the tank. Yeah. He's so deep in the tank here. It's kind of ins Okay. Now I'm just going to castle, I guess. I feel like I'm doing well. Okay. That's a little bit iffy because there's going to be some big attack. I'm going to go a3 and c4, I think. Like a3 and some c4 and queen h5. I mean... This looks shaky at best. I, I have to stop knight before. That's why I put the pawn here first. I mean, this must be good somehow. Like, I feel like I've got queen g4, maybe? This dude is... Why... This dude is literally asleep. Thank you. Going to go mad for something. Why is he so slow? Though I gave him... Eh, it wasn't so... Uh, queen g4, maybe? Let's go here. It's got 30 seconds. Okay, very weird. I guess I'll just take. So I can take. Okay, let's take. Let's take the pawn. Let's go. I guess I go back here. I don't know if this is the right square, but it looks like the right. Let's go here and here. Let's go here, maybe. Okay, just trapped his rook in the corner. Go 
Because of 97, which is kind of a problem. <sighs> huh. I think I should just open it up here. Okay, this should just be winning now. Um... Go here and take the pawn. He has no time, true, but there you do gain time. You do gain time on every move. Sorry. This must be winning. I go here when the king... Oh, I should put the bishop on b7. But it's still winning, though. Let's go here, and now I just win. Designs, we got the first one. Good win. Okay, let's keep going. 2607, round two. Um, okay, someone said, would I play g6? So I'll play g6. Don't, don't, oh no, I'm going to play a B feeder and lose, I bet. Let's go here. I said I wasn't going to play a B feeder, and I'm playing a B feeder. So, uh, okay, I think it takes us fine here. I think this order is slightly wrong, though, isn't it, or not? Maybe it's not. Um, I'm going to go e3, maybe d6 or something. Just here and here. Maybe bishop f5 also. Maybe knight b6. I think I'm going to go knight b6 and queen a4 if I have a chance. Yeah, I'm playing the b feeder, and it's probably not the right choice, but I can't resist the memes. Okay, let's go here. Maybe knight f5. Maybe knight b6 next move. I want to go knight b6 and queen a4 maybe. Okay, I think I'm going to go... Uh, I think this is still playable because I hit the pawn. I have bishop f5 maybe as well. I think my opponent has very slightly misplayed this position because f5 I just take. Is it the beef eater or the beef eater? It's the beef eater. Eater, eater. My position is actually pretty good this game. though. I got, I got a pretty decent position here. Knight h4. Interesting. I can play queen a4 maybe. I just have to be careful about bishop g6. I think queen a4 is fine, though. Let's go queen a4. Let's, let's trade some pieces here. Okay, I have bishop g4 is a move. Bishop f5 is... Okay, wait a second. I have to be smart about this. I think this is correct. Let's go here. Because I can just take next move. If he goes all over, I just take the pawn. I should be winning. And if he goes here, maybe knight f5. Maybe queen a3. Thank you to X Biggie for the two months. Thank you to X Biggie. Appreciate it. I can also go queen a3 here. I feel like e6 is all... Maybe... I really don't think I want a castle. I'm going to go rook f8 and just bishop f5. go here trade some pieces he doesn't want to take but I'm threatening to also fork here like all my Knights are really really well placed He okay, does go bishop f2, but now I thought I had queen a3, maybe. It's a very weird position. I think I should... Oh, I miss. I messed up something here. I should have been better. I think I, I have to go here to force him to move the king. This is uh, Im important. Um, I can also go here, maybe like knight g7 or knight d4. Should 
should be some way to play this. Not E6, not check. I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna castle. I'm just gonna try to smash the center with E6 and D5 at some moment. Okay, I don't want to play E5. I also. I'm gonna go here and King G, King B8. I really want to play E6 at some moment attack. Thank you, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, Gandhi, for the five months. Appreciate it. Yeah, Google says it's a Jinji, not the beef eater. I mean, I, when I grew up, it was called the Jinji Indian, and then at some point, it became something else. Okay, I think I go e6 here, but let's let, let me make sure this is a move. I'm gonna go e6 takes. I'm gonna go queen b2 and d5 basically, and then knight c4. And it looks very very okay. Wait, no, 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 wait. Don't do something stupid. Let's go check block and then takes. And then I feel like I'm just winning takes because there's this. This is under attack. Should be winning. Thank you, Yucky, for the two months. Thank you, WG's balancing department for the two months as well. I mean, if this isn't winning, then so be it. But it's take just go here I'm threatening the double check I mean it's hard to believe this isn't winning for me his king is so open here like so open it goes there. I go here. So I just, again, I sidestep and I'm just saving my knight e5 or knight b2 or knight a3. I'm saving all my checks for the white king on d3 here. So queen h5. I mean, again, it's, it's hard to believe this isn't winning somehow. I can also just take because takes, I take. Yeah, let's just take because he can't take to the check. He can't take to the check. Okay, now he just loses because I go double check and then I fork him or I go check here too. Check, hit the king, hit, hit the queen. Mm -hmm. There we go. Yes, yeah, so we got the win. Pretty, pretty good game. Two and zero. Oh. Let's keep watching, or keep seeing who else is playing. Ali Rez is playing Ermito. Ermito is uh unclear. C two. Ooh, very unclear game. I think Ali Rez will win somehow, but very, very unclear. Very, very unclear. Yeah, I think he's gonna win, but. I think D3 was a mistake. Take? Oh, he just hung a he just hung a piece. Wait. G3, yeah, he's gonna win. I don't know if he was winning here, but I don't know if Ali Rose was winning. Very complicated position, but he's gonna win now. Um what else do we have? Jeffrey's game. Jeffrey lost? This is just a draw. Wait, why did Jeffrey lose? This is just a draw. Wait, why did... uh? Wait, what? Jeffrey lost this game here. What? It's just a draw with King C6. What? What? It's still a draw. King C6 and it's still a draw because your king gets back. He resigned. He didn't flag. He resigned. Very strange. Yeah, he resigned with one second left. Very, very weird. But anyway, we're on two out of two. And we're waiting for the next game to start. Actually, no, let's just play E4. <laughs> You guys are just trolling me. Okay, let's go knight of three. Let's go here, bishop d3. Play something spicy. I'm just going to play traditional chess. Castle. I can play knight c3 here. I can also play d5. Hmm. I'm just going to trade and play like. 
go here. I have e5 at some moment. I just have to play the, t the timing has to be right for it. Knight g5. I mean, bishop e3 looks fine. Maybe queen e2. I'm just going to play bishop e3, hit the pawn. b6 and like queen e2 and rook d1 looks pretty good. Let's go here and play rook d1. I go I should probably put this rook and the other rook on c1 maybe not sure if it's the right right idea but I, th I think it is let's go I might be five here which is kind of interesting too knight g5 oh, let's just go I go here hit the bishop I need a big baller BJ for the prime. Thank you so much, a big baller BJ. Thank you so much. Really thinking here. You're in a pairing with a 1700 guy there making fun of you? Oh, are you saying that everyone else people are much stronger? Is that what you're saying? Uh, you're sa are you saying all the other players in the tournament are much stronger? Is that what you're saying? So I just take and take. Who's nice? I can obviously just take here. I think. Yeah, I should definitely take. Because if he takes, I just take. I guess I go bishop b three. Let's target the queen on the diagonal, especially. They need a red blur for the tier one. Thank you so much, red blur. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's queen e7. I think I can just drop the rook back. I also go to c4. Knight f4, queen f3. Hmm. Let's put the rook on c4 here. What is this people swing all about? I don't understand. Let's go queen f3, maybe knight d5. Goes bishop e5. Interesting move. You can play h4. Doesn't look right. Okay, let's think for a second. Okay, rook d1 is not the move I want to play. Knight e2 is a move I can play. G3 definitely is not a move I'm playing. Knight d5 is not a move I'm playing. Bishop a4. H4 and G3 is kind of what I want to do, but it doesn't look right. So I guess I'm just going to go here. Reddit react later today. No, not today. Goes Rook D8. I think I'm just going to give up the pawn here. I'm just going to give up the pawn and just play this. Goes back to E5. I guess I go here. go here maybe h5 he probably plays h5 himself he can't take so he loses the pawn he goes rook d7 logical let's just move the king up probably queen e3 and f4 at some moment makes sense Now that's a blunder because I can trade and take, I think. I take and take because the bishop's under attack here. Should be winning for me, although I'm not 100% sure. I'll flag this guy. I, I mean, the position is probably losing now for him, so I won't even need to. Okay, he goes king f6. I think I just go king here and king e3. This should be winning pretty cleanly for me. Were you guaranteed to get... Was I guaranteed to get the pawn? Well, now I go check. I mean, this has to be... 
Well, this is definitely winning now. I'm just up two pawns. Let's take. Here, I guess. This has to be winning. I mean, he can maybe try to run the king close, but there's nothing he can really do here. He resigns. We're three up, three down. We keep rolling along. Three pass pawns winning against a rook depends where the pawns are. Um, Depends. Levy game? Oh, is, is Levy... Uh, Ali Reza... So let's watch Ali Reza's game. Ali Reza is... Winning, kind of. Yeah, I think he was losing. Um. Wait, wait, wait a second. Wait, what did Ali Res? Wait, oh my gosh, she just blunder. He just blundered. Yeah, Ali Res is gonna win this. I think Ali Res was losing this game. I think he was losing. Let, let me let me try to understand this. Yeah, he, he got tricked. He he blundered this. Well, king e4, king f5, maybe. What's going on? Yeah, he 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 got tricked. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he he got tricked there. Okay, takes king f7. Yeah, black just wins now because the pawns are doubled. I think white was winning in this game somehow, but he misplayed it. Yeah, white was definitely winning somewhere and then misplayed it. But yeah, black just wins the game. So Ali Reza wins again. Um, Dulles, let's see his game. What's going on? This is... Dulles is probably going to draw this game. Iffy, iffy. Like H5, G5, just H5, I guess. Just make the draw. Take, take, and it's a draw. Mm-hmm. Ali Reza game is a draw? What do you mean? It's not a draw. He's... Wait, what? Wait, what? Ali Reza drew? What? Wait, what? Wait a second. Wait, what's... Oh, wow. Huh. Wow, it's a draw. Crazy. That's kind of insane. Okay, we're going to play round four. Okay, let's keep going. Let's go knight f3. Actually, no, let's play e4 again. Just going to do this. Um, I'm not going to really. I'm just going to play my same old stuff. Play this one. Okay, let's do this one. Go here. Okay, it goes e6. I know d4 is a move, but I think knight g3 is supposed to be the correct way. Like knight g3 and then like d4. Okay, I'm gonna go c3, maybe bishop d3, maybe d4 next move, depending. Let's go here, force him to trade. Oh, why is Levy not sure? Oh, did I just. Bl Oh my gosh, I just boy yo yo, I just blundered this. I'm supposed to play d4 first. Guess I will just I'm gonna take, I wanna see which way he takes. Takes with the queen, okay, I expect that. Okay, let's go d3 and castles. I'm going to play this. I'm going to force him to move the rook. And then I'm going to castle. Probably going to play like h4, rook h3, rook g3. That's my idea. Okay, goes bishop f8. I'm going to go h4. Maybe bishop g5 at some moment. Okay, maybe he does that. Wait, but now I have this. Wait, he has to be very careful. Because if rook g8, I have knight f6. 
goes f5 wow um play on passant uh that was a mistake i should have gone bishop f4 first shoot Ug, 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 ug. That was a mistake by me. Play on Passant, but I don't think it's a good move. Um, still going to do it. Let's try to make this work. Okay, let's go check. I guess I just... I'm going to go here, I guess. So if he takes, I have 98, 97. If he takes, I just take. Oh, Primo looks to say Primo. He's not going to do it. I think it's. I don't think it's a good move. That's beside the point. <laughs> wait, now I have Bishop. E wait, wait a second. I have Bishop E5 here or Knight. Wait a second. I know I'm better. Let's go here. And now I think I'm just winning, maybe. Now, do I take which pawn? Do I, I can take multiple pawns. Just take this one and take the rook. I'm just going to be up two pawns here. Just up two pawns. Just castle. Oh, I gave him bishop f5. No, I have g4. I have g4 and bishop e5. All right, we got the win. Moved to four out of four. Okay, let's watch fair play chess playing against Mr. Alexander Ostrovsky, uh, the good friend of, um, of Levy Rosman. Thank you to Clara Cottontail for the 29 months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Clara. Thank you to Bring It Bring It Gamer for the Prime. Fair Chess is not Artemia. Fair Chess is um Fair Chess is uh Dimitri on Draken. Thank you, Jax Cooley, for the Prime. Thank you so much, Jax Cooley. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's on Draken. Man, Bunovich is still an IM. No, he's not a GM yet. No. Do I drink coffee? No, I drink G Fuel. H3 Knight F2 is the problem. I should play Artemia more. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, Artemia's not really on that much, is he? Um, yeah. Okay, H3 Knight. So Knight F2 is the move here for Black. Thank you to uh, Flask Name for the five months. So queen c3, queen d4, I guess. Levy lost. Okay. Um. Again, I don't. Levy's not streaming, so I don't like. Yeah, I. I don't. I don't. I mean, I'm not gonna. S Wait. Isn't it just checkmate? Check and mate. King d2, rook c2, and queen g3, and you got mated. Yeah, it's just GG's. Yeah, also, yeah, you guys are right. Like, what? Yeah, why is everyone talking about Levy? Like, I mean, let him let him have his fun. Let him play his tournament. Thank you to LeBron twenty three for the prime. Thank you so much to LeBron twenty three. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, uh, we're playing. I'm gonna play more standard this time. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna do this. I'm just gonna play. Let's go F6 here. Do hate summit for the six. <clears throat> Thank you. Appreciate it. Let's take. I mean E5 and Bishop E6 makes sense here. <clears throat> I don't know if this is if this is the I, I know you can go to either square. They're both playable. Ed Mobius for the gifted sub. Uh, math for the sub too. Thank you so much. Um, feels a little bit wrong. Wait a second. Is e5 a move here? D5, bishop b4, bishop c3. Eight. 
two, FE5. I'm going to go for it. I don't know if it's right, but I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. I don't know if it's right, but it feels it feels playable. Because I have bishop b4. I spent a lot of time there, so I need to be careful. Okay, so of course I go check. Yeah, Alexei for the for the four months. Thank you so much, Alexei. Appreciate it. Thank you for the sub. Ninety two. I know. okay. Wait a second. So if I take on c four, bishop c four, bishop f three, gf three, ninety five. I can also just wait. If I take queen f three, no. So I have to take first, and then I take on f three. Next move. <clears throat> Okay, so I take, and I take with the knight, I guess. This should be okay. I mean, it's very complicated. Thank you to Johannes. Thank you so much. Appreciate Johan uh, of Sebastian Bach. Thank you. I don't know if this is actually great for me, but it looks reasonable. He's going to have to give up one of the ops. I don't know if I love my position here. Checks. Um, I think King F7 is actually the right move, weirdly. But I'm going to go to F8 to keep everything on the dark square. He plays A3. Okay, I'm going to go here in Bishop D4, probably. I also have queen b6 as well. Very tricky position for both sides. I don't know who's better here. I think I missed something. I think I was supposed to go here in queen a5. That's probably right. Castles, wait, I have queen g5? Hmm. Okay, let's just let's just develop, I guess. I have to go here. Let's go here. Maybe knight d5, knight f4 is my idea. Let's go here. I want to go g6, king g7, knight f4. Let's move the king, play queen e7 here. Why is there no scoreboard? Oh, sorry. There's your scoreboard. He's also got no time here, I just realized. Our house. Knight g5, queen f6, I guess. Plays queen g5. Logical move. Actually, very logical move. Um... Go here. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong scene. There you guys go. Sorry, wrong scene. Sorry, apologies. Um, I think I take this way and go rook d6, maybe. I also have bishop b2, which is probably winning here. This king is very poor. Let's just take our house. Sorry, I was on I was on my my other scene. Apologies. Um, I'm gonna go here in King F5. Okay, let's just go. Okay, B5 is a move, but I don't really want to play it. I think I'm gonna just play here to start. I always have H5. I can also just trade, I guess. Um, how do I do this? B5 makes sense. Hmm. I'm definitely winning. He's got two seconds, so I just need to take a second, regroup. 
I'm gonna go b5 and reroute the knight. Uh, I blundered that. I actually really made this messy now. I'm gonna go a5, a4. Okay, I think I just go here, cover the check. I don't even have to do this, but I think it's good. It's got no time. Yeah, we get the win. Five out of five, pretty good game. I might play Joe Bob in next game now. All right, so I guess we're just waiting for the next game. Let's see. Two games still going um, before the sixth round begins. Uh, are there instances of players who become GM who didn't pick up chess until later in life? There were in the past. I don't feel like anyone now who's who's near the top that's the case but in the past there were probably you go back 30 35 years wasn't Ben a relatively old player when he got a GM title yeah so Ben Feingold I think was in his mid 40s when he became a GM but he had been playing chess since he was very young he just he didn't he didn't get the title um until then but he he, he was playing chess as a kid too thank you thank you to I am Lux for the seven months thank you to fire your barber for the prime um but yeah can we get some TSM leaks? Sorry, just want to know if chess related. Yeah, I'm doing a chess related collab soon. Yeah, Feingold was an IM at 20. Yeah, see, F Feingold also was playing chess when he was very young, too. I mean, pretty much all of us were. Does it matter if someone becomes a GM younger and younger? Does it matter? Not really, unless you're trying to be a, be a professional chess player. Uh, Levy, does Levy have a lot? Ha, so Levy lost, ha, has a, lost a lot of time. He's got a lot of time yet. Yeah, I think for Levy, Levy is what, like 23, 24? Thank you, Predictor, for the Prime Madness Beats for the Tier 1. Levy's what, 24? Well, okay, we, we have to play the game first. Um, okay, let's play the game. Play E4. Actually, no, let's keep it slower. He's 25. Yeah, Levy probably has about, if he wants to be serious and try to get the title, he's probably got about, I would say, four to five years. Oh, let's play C4. Let's just play let's play traditional chess. It's been a while since I've done this. But Levy has about five years, I would say. Play A6. And play this one, just keep it really dry. But yeah, Levy Levy's got four years. That, that's what I would say. I'm gonna play here in Bishop E5. I mean he has knight h5. Just drop back. Want to stop ninety four? I want a castle here. Um, I can obviously castle. I think I'm gonna move my queen here. I don't know if it's necessary, but I'm gonna start with queen c two. I might castle long, depending how he plays this. Okay, let's play a three. I'm gonna keep delaying. I want to see which way he's going here. So if he takes, I might just take. Okay, he goes queen e7. Very strange move. I can take and play knight e5, maybe. That strikes me as a peculiarly peculiar move. Knight e5. I guess he wants knight h5, but then I can. It's very peculiar. I'm gonna go knight e5 and f4. It doesn't. Queen e7 feels like a delayed move. Oh no, I don't know if this is good or not, but it looks slightly wrong to me. Thank you to Venus being being nasty for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go f4. I can always take. This is kind of like a stone wall in a sense with a knight here. I have this. I've got bishop h4 also. I can also just castle. There's knight f8. I think I just castle, of course. Why not? It's knight g4, but still rook e1. Knight h5, bishop f2 looks good. I like my position here. I do like my position. I also have bishop h4 at some move as well, I think. Will I be covering the canvas turn? I won't be covering it, but I'll probably do some recaps. That's my that's my guess. It's 94. Wow. Does that actually work? Or maybe I should have played Bishop H4. Maybe what I did was imprecise. Although I really don't believe this somehow. This does not look right. This looks wrong. What what's the time situation? Time situation is such that Bishop G6 takes. I have to take 5f6, play king h7. I just take and go here. I really wanted to take, but I think f5 is the right move here. And then I have queen b3. 
I also have knight c4, knight b6 as well. And then rook f4, g4. This should be good for me. What is the 19? That's a tie break. That's the that's the tiebreaker. You play very fast today. Um, I'm playing fast. I don't know if I'm playing super fast, but I feel like I'm I feel like I'm playing well though at the moment. Uh, Abramanu, ooh, that looks like a. That does wait, 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 wait a second. That looks like an wait a second, wait a second. I need to think because that looks like a very poor, very, very bad move. I mean, I'm sure there's some way to win here. Right, just one second. Okay. I'm sure there's a way to win here. I'm just not seeing it. Just F6. This is why you save your. This is why you build up your time bank. Because this is where I need to find something. There's some way that I'm winning here. Oh man, I don't see it. There's some way that I'm winning, but I don't see it. So I'm just going to not go rook f4. That's a terrible move. It's a safe way to play this. Wait, why am I still thinking? What am I doing? Just go here. I'll force him to play f6 and then just go knight c4. Knight h7. Wait, that's a mistake. Yeah, because now I can take, so I have queen b3. And he loses, because the knight's no longer covering the checks. So when he pushes, I go here, check, and I go mate when he moves. Because the knight needed to be here, so when he pushes, I don't have this idea. Now it's just losing. Spent a little bit too long on that, but I'm going to get away with it, luckily. go check he has to block so I mean I just take work up seven they're just losing he just loses here so I trade and take and it's just all over I think the M Zandi okay this okay there's this is definitely losing but I don't want to do something stupid so let's go wait e7 wait then Queen d5 I have to be careful okay let's just go here gonna go here I'm just gonna go for the double give knight f8 wait I can still go here he takes I take with a pawn I fork him if he takes he's yeah it's just this is just over thank you to M Zandi for the prime thank you so much to M Zandi appreciate it thank you so much also e7 one but rook f7 is crushing too uh this is definitely winning it's just a question of which way wait can I take oh this is beautiful I have rook h7 and it's over yeah, he resigns because he goes. He goes king g8. I go check, king f8, and then it's mate or or mate here too. Both both ways work, but this is the cool one. The two rooks connect, and the knight holds the two squares. King can't go anywhere. So pretty good win, up to six out of six. Good stuff. Thank you to Axkade. Actually, you know what I want to do is I want to look at that game. I want to see where the win was that I missed. Um, where was the win that I missed? I just want to see. Let me see. Queen b3 is... Does f6 really not win? Knight c6 is... Oh, this actually is winning. Wait, so takes, takes, takes here. Where's the win? Knight f6 is... Pl mm. Not so clear. Actually, not so clear. So, so I'm not so upset with my performance that game. I play Prag next. He's on 6 out of 6. Uh, won't be shocking. Okay, so we're we're sort of we're not we're not in the home stretch. Um, I'm I'm six out of six. There are five more games to go. Um, uh, let's let's see. So there are five more games to go. So draws are not ideal, but a draw is okay. Because again, there are only so many games left. If you're if you're in your mid twenties and consider yourself as rather smart, you're a beginner and have a roughly one point five to one one point eight k. Is it possibly come GM with one hundred percent dedication? 
I mean, if, if, if literally you're going to do nothing except play chess terms, live and breathe chess, maybe. But that literally means you need to be like a billionaire and you have no worries at all in the world. Like you literally have no worries. And then maybe it's possible. I would still say it's on the outer edge, but maybe it's possible. Okay, this is round seven. I, I have to decide, do I want to be stable or go for broke? Maybe to Thomas up for the 1,000 bits. Thank you so much. Probably I'm going to try to be safe. I'm going to I'm gonna lean more on the stable side for this game. 11 11 or 11 push ups? No. I mean, 11 11 is very hard. I'm just going to be very stable this game. Just play very solid. Because again, a draw is it's not, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. Do I know why Hans is not playing in Title Tuesday anymore? Uh, I really have no idea, actually, on that. I have no insight. Also, though, I think Hans is in. Um, isn't Hans in? Uh, in um, he's in Europe right now, isn't he? Like, I, I feel like Hans really is kind of focused on. Um, he's really focused on Queen B one. It's a different line. Uh, Bishop B seven is still a move. As is Bishop A six. So I'm just gonna go here. I don't think it really changes much because I can just take. Let's go here on Bishop A six. Yeah, he plays g4. He's, he's trying to play a sharp line with b5. I th I've actually seen this before. I don't remember how the line goes, but. Plays h4. Okay, this. Okay, this I'm pretty confident is not correct, but. To play this correctly. So let's just take. I mean, I definitely can take on a1. This looks suspect. Like, very suspect to me. I don't believe this, actually. I just don't believe this. So I have e5. I I think Prague Prague's get, or Prague or Prague or however you pronounce it is getting a little bit too too aggressive this game. Mind you, it's still not clear, but it this doesn't feel quite right somehow. I mean, maybe he meant to go h3. I'm not I'm not even sure what his what his actual idea was here. But we'll see. I mean, if he could have kept the queen side closed, this would have been very interesting. But I suspect this is bad. Mind you, the game's not over. But I suspect that it's not right. He's seeing a long time. I guess he's trying to find some... Yeah, he goes h5. So, I mean, I can obviously trade uh, if I want to. I think I should actually trade. Maybe I go f5. He's really thinking here. I mean, I think he's trying to figure out if he can take with that pawn. I mean, f5 looks fine. Five bishop f6, maybe? Maybe just bishop f6 and e5 makes sense, too. Is there some tactic that I'm missing? Like... He's using a lot of time here to try and find some tactic takes. Okay, I expected that. I can go queen a8, maybe queen a5 even. Queen a8, queen there. C3, king e2. This looks right to me. It's king g7. I think I'm okay. Oh, he goes c1. Okay, that's a surprise. Okay, first of all, I have bishop a6 here, which I think is a good move. Let's go here, try to trade the bishops. Because his real threats are on the um are on the on the on the on the king's side. Now he's begging me to play e5. I can obviously do it. I can also go bishop d8, bishop a5, maybe. Let's just go queen b7, maybe. Let's just go here. Don't really believe in White's position, honestly. It doesn't look right. I mean, I guess I take this way. I have f5. If he goes rook g1, I think f5 is my move. Plays e4, I expected that. I have bishop d8, bishop a5. Let me think for a second. Can take and play knight f6. I think I should actually take knight c3, queen c4 maybe. Uh, 
Knight of six, knight h5 also looks good. Oh, but then he has some weird sack. F5 is also a move here. Let's go F5. I want to go knight f6 and knight e4. If e5, I have rook b8, and then I'm just much better, I think. Okay, this this has to be good for me, though. Knight g5. So I'm taking play queen b4. I mean, I feel like I'm much better. I just I just need to find the right way to play this. Oh, he's got f3, yikes. Whatever, let's take and go here. I'm definitely going to sack at some point. Let's go F3. I mean, I can obviously take FB1. I can also take. I mean, if this isn't. I mean, if this isn't winning, so be it. I mean. Because I have check. Oh, this is actually a mate in one threat. I just, this is actually mate in one. I didn't even notice that. It's just mate in one. Oh, he's just lost then. He just resigns. Unless he has queen e3 or something. But I can take and play d4. Takes knight f3 and I win the game. <gasps> oh, he missed it. He could have played here, takes and rook eight. Oh my gosh. I almost just blundered. That was... Yikes. That was so bad. I'm going to win, but oh my gosh. That was awful. What was that? Okay. Okay, let's think for a second. Let's just go here. I mean, E2 just wins. It's just mate and two. That was pathetic by me, actually. That, that I think, was... I think... Let me click on the live analysis. That was really, really bad. Let me go back here. Okay, this is good. Yeah, but... Er, oh, he's got Rook H8, too. Oh. Yeah, this was... Wait, what did I do wrong? Guess I just trade and take... Should have had something better than this. Ah, uh, Queen G4 is probably cleaner even than that. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a win, but I'm not thrilled by my technique at the end. But it's a win. Yeah, I mean, Rook H8 is a crazy move. Okay, who's still playing? We have Giga playing. We have Ali Reza playing. Christopher Yu. Ali Reza is winning his game, so he's about to be on 6.5 out of 7-2. All right, let's see. Um, why does Rook, Rook H8 win? Or it doesn't win. It, the game goes on. But yeah, 7 out of 7. Yeah, it's hard to complain. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play this knight f3. Like we played some games and I, I got good wait, what? Let's go here. Let's play this c4. I mean I I, th I thought I got a good position. Okay, does it again, okay. Let's play a4. This looks a little bit sketchy. Goes back to d7. Is this really supposed to be good for black? I don't believe him. I, I actually, I just don't believe Jobob. I think this is bad. Maybe it's good, but I don't, I just don't believe him. Take, so I take. I just don't believe him somehow. He goes, isn't this just a free pawn or am I absolutely insane? It's a free pawn. What is Jobob doing here? Okay, so I'm up a pawn. I'm much better. So now the key is how to consolidate this into into a victory because I, I am technically winning already I'm up a pawn out of the opening so if I if I don't win this game it's definitely on me I like f4 stop the push in the center okay now we just develop I might even go long potentially I don't know we'll see I mean he definitely blundered off obviously he just blundered in this opening Goes B6. I can play A6 if I want. I can actually also take. I don't really want to take. I'm going to go A6. He's going to go like B5. I'll go like Bishop G2 or something. Okay, I can play Bishop B5, but I think just Bishop G2 and, and Castles looks right. Plays so F5. Um, I can Castle again. I can also go long. I don't love it. I'm going to play Rook C1, Rook C6. I'm going to play very, very traditional here. OK, 
Okay, rook c6 looks logical. Castles is always a move. I don't really want to castle, but I think I have to at some point and just like scoot the king over and go like rook g1. Yeah, he's going to look to play g5. Let's go. I want to go e4. I can't go d5. I can go rook c6, however. Let's go here. Probably I'm looking for some bishop b4 tricks. There's rook d8. Bishop b4, he just takes. Four is a move. Okay, how do I do this exactly? Rook c1 looks like a good move. Let's just do it. Let's take the file. King h7, as expected. I'm just going to move my queen over. I'm going to look to play e4 for sure here. Or d5. I mean, even b4 is a move here. Don't like what I've done here. Hmm. Actually, I really don't like what I've done. Let's go queen e2. Um, I don't want to do that. e4 is always a move, but it's very, very committal. I'm just going to move my king out. Maybe bishop f3 at some moment. Okay, now though... Actually, let's just trade some rooks. This is step one. Get a set of rooks off the board, and then I can also open up the king side a little bit more. Huh. Let's see. Okay, it goes there. So I can obviously trade. I think I should trade. I'm like, just bishop f3. Rook g1 still a move. some point, I probably should put the pawn on b5, but we'll see. It's back, as expected. I'm going to play rook g1. Maybe I go h4, h5. I don't want to. Let's just go here. Let's be let's be conservative with the with the move calling. Um, don't really want to do this, but I'm going to play it. Don't love it. Let's go here. Okay, I can play bishop c6. I don't love it. I'm just going to play h3 maybe. Just keep this very slow. I'm going to rotate my king back to the middle of the board at some point. It's queen c8. Okay, so he's trying to go rook c2. So he has an actual idea now. So I need to be very careful with how I play this. Let's go, let's go queen b1. C1 looks like a move. I can just take and drop back. Okay, I take. There's nothing hanging on the king's side, so it's all fine. He can play g5 now, I guess. Although I also have d5 as a threat too. It's 94. It's a strange move. Although it's probably a good move, to be fair. It's probably a very good move. Shoot. Queen b2, maybe. Let's think for a second. Okay, whatever. Let's just go for it. Let's go here. He does have queen d. I would have gone for this. Okay, now I can also check, but I think I'm just going to go here. I'm going to have to go here and here, I think. He's still thinking. He's playing... I mean, he's, play, he's playing He's playing very well after he blundered the pawn. Okay, I guess... Just see how it works out. Let's go e4. I've got to get these pawns rolling. Three queen d. That looks like a mistake. Okay, let's go here. That's definitely a mistake. Let's just roll the pawns. He has a check, but I'm not concerned. Just roll the pawns. I'm gonna win now. Just keep rolling the pawns. Just queen e8.
Thank you to Jay Collins for the seven. Thank you to Leo RD for the for the prime as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Get the win. Eight out of eight. Pretty good game. Uh, Jabava blundered in the opening, which is why he lost that game. Um, so pretty good stuff. I assume Ali Reza is still playing. Ali Reza is in trouble this game, it looks like. Knight e6 or knight e4. Check. Wait. Oh, no, wait. He blundered. There's e2. He blundered. He blundered. Wait, why did he go knight e6? Knight e4 and... He blundered. He's going to lose. Or no, he's... Uh... Takes. Takes. Ninety four. What's he doing? This is this. Oh wait, check. Oh 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 man! What a brilliant tactic by Andraken. Oh wow! What a tactic by Andraken. Oh my god. Rook C7, Andrekin is a beast. I don't know how he found that. This just wins. That's unbelievable. Because if you check on F4, there's here, and then your mate in one. And when you go here, when when he went, what did he play here? He played queen. Uh, check. If you go here, it's check here, check here, and mate. It's an Arabian checkmate. Oh, wow. What a checkmate. And King F8, you check, and then you go the other way. Oh, wow. That that was a... Oh, my gosh. That's unbelievable by Andrake that he found Rook C7. Wow. Rook C7. Andrake found that with, like, one two seconds on the clock. That is an unbelievable find with two seconds. Wow. Wow. Who said he's never seen the pattern? Ali Reza or Andre? I mean, it's a very weird pattern. It's like a crazy pattern. It's an insane pattern. That's ins because even even if you play it back and you see me talk about, it, you'll see that like I didn't even realize it was a mate either. It's just it's crazy. That's an insane find with like one second on the wow, amazing find by by Andre. And thank you to Jake Wolos for the prime. Yeah, amazing stuff from um. From from Andre in that game, that that actually I think more or less ends Ali Reza's hopes at, at at winning three in a row. Thank you, full Steve Martin for the prime. Appreciate. It. Thank you so much. Andre is a dry player, so I do have to decide: do I want to go for broke or not? You know what? Let's go for broke. Let's have fun. I'm feeling the rhythm. I'm feeling the rhythm of the night. So let's let's uh, let's let's try to go for broke. Oh, but he plays. Oh, he plays dry stuff actually. Oh, let's go c6 d5. I'm going to go for it. If I lose, I lose. I don't care. Thank you to Red Blurf to give us up. Chris and G for the four months. Okay, let's castle. I got the opening I wanted at least. That's rookie one. So I'm going to go B5, Knight B6. Uh, how is Levy doing? That's a good question. I actually have no idea. I think he's playing. I'm going to go A5. He does have A4 here. But I, I feel like, I've, I, feel like I, I owe it to everybody to go for it. Doesn't work out. Doesn't work out. But I'm going to try. Plays A3. I assume I should play A4. Though I don't have to. Yeah, I'm going to go A4. Five and bishop e6 to move. I really want to put that bishop on e6. Okay, queen d2. I can also swing the rook. Let's think for a second. I don't want to do anything too crazy. I think I am going to go here. I'm going to try to play rook e8, queen d7 or something. He does have... Okay, he goes queen d2. Just go here. Probably try to put the rooks on e8 and d8 and play knight d5 at some moment. Levy lost the last game to Mustafa Yilmaz. Okay. Okay, goes rookie two. Very solid move from Andre, and he's really not taking big risks this game. Rookie one. I guess I just trade. 
I mean, I have knight d5 here. I don't... Okay, he takes the queen, which strikes me as a little bit, little bit odd. Oh, wait. Actually, he's got g4 threats, I just realized. So I have to close this. Um, Probably that was a mistake. I probably shouldn't have taken, but whatever. Let's see what he does. I mean, I'm not going to play for sure, but anyway, whatever. This, this is an important game. Let's not... Let's not get off topic, you guys. Takes. Oh, because he has he has some queen e8, queen e8, bunky, 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 bunky. He has queen e8 or something. <laughs> H6, that's just a draw. So, hmm, I guess I take with a pawn. He goes c3. Yeah, this is probably actually it's headed for a draw. As much as I hate to say that, and it pains me to say it. It's this is heading more towards a draw now. Although I do have two bishops, maybe I shouldn't be complaining because I have two bishops here. Two bishops are better than a bishop and a knight, unless he can magically get that get it to the outpost, which I don't think he can. So why am I complaining? I shouldn't be. Okay, let's think. How do we do this? I'm gonna go here. Seems like a logical move. Maybe h5. Maybe just drop back. No draws allowed. Okay. Two. There's no threat with that move. I'm just going to play h6, consolidate my position. And is he going knight f1 e3 or not? I guess it's really the only thing I have to figure out. I mean, I do have rook a6 maybe at some moment. Okay, he goes queen f3. thought I could play rook a6 now and rook e6. I'm up on the clock. I'm probably very slightly better. So this is all that you really can ask for in a game of chess. The position that's good, so time is good. Everything looks pretty pretty stable. Let's go back. I have f5, f4 maybe. Maybe rookie six even. Cannot really complain with this. This is this is all that I could can ask for from this opening, certainly. Bishop h2. Now that, however, strikes me as a weird move. So you want g4 or what's... Let's just go here. Let's, let's let's take all the risk out of the position first so that I can't lose. And then I start trying to win with the queen and the two bishops, basically. Again, pawns are also on white, so his bishop can't touch the pawns. Now, I can trade if I want to. I don't think that's the right move. Queen f5 gives queen e8, though. How do I do this? If I trade, it's, it's almost certainly a draw. Draw is not bad, but... Let's go for it. This is probably wrong, by the way, but I, I'm going to go for it. If I trade queens, it would be a draw 90% plus. Um, I don't know what bishop b8 really does. I'm going to try to create some windows here with like h5, maybe g4. Maybe I can use this, use the two diagonals like this, maybe. I have one. Okay, let's, uh, let's just go here. Let's offer the trade so I undouble the pawns. This is step one. I have to be careful because if I push h4, I put the bishop on the, the pawns on the same color as his bishop. Like these pawns, he can't touch. He does that. Ah, uh, that's a good move, actually. That's a. Or is it? Wait. Or is it? Or is it? No, it's actually a very bad move. He just let me get in the other side now. Now my bishop is coming to feast on his dark square pawns. Actually, bishop a7 was a very bad move by him. It's still very much a game, but that was a very bad move. Let's go here and takes. Okay, he wants g3. I have bishop d3, I have h4 also. I'm just going to go h4. Let's go check. Let's go here. Because now he has to worry about all sorts of ideas with the two bishops as well. Uh, let's go here. I think I'm going to win this game now. Although it's still very tricky. How do I do this? I can't take... I can also move the... Mm, no, I don't... How do I do this? Let's think for a second. I like e5 as a move. It's not the... Hmm. Let's drop back. Give him king e2. Wait. Okay, let's go here. Check. Yes, and now I get in. I think I get in here. I think I get in, don't I? Let's go here in bishop c1. I'm getting... I'm getting in. Or am I? Wait, or am I? No, it's still tricky. Wait. <sighs> still very tricky. Okay, let's just go here. Let's go 
here. Here. This is really this is crazy hard. A1. Okay, I think the way that I'm going to try to do this is bring my king in. I, um, uh, let's go here. Go. I'm going to go here and try. Let's go here. Takes and takes, and now I win. Get the win. Nine out of nine. A very tough game, but we got the win. A very tough game. All right, one nine out of nine. So. We're in a spot where at least we're at least one point ahead of the field. Um, I think I have to play Dubov. I'm gonna get white and I have to figure it out what I'm gonna do here. Hmm. No, you need to go for broke. Yeah, I mean, if I draw the game, I'm probably guaranteed a, sh a share first, but you know what? The chance of going 11 out of 11, it really does not happen. Like that's, you're not gonna have many chances to go 11 out of 11. So I'm definitely gonna go for it, like for sure. Okay, let's play knight f3. Play here. Let's go c4. Let's go d4. Why well, I tried the knight for the bishop earlier? Okay, let's play h3. So let's see. What can I do? Okay, I guess I take with the queen. Okay, let's just go here. Let's just cast next move. I can play knight c. Whoops. Let's go knight c3. I can play e4. Yeah, no, it's fine, you guys. I just spilled some stuff. Uh, e4 looks like a solid choice. Just, oh, he can take though. It's very reasonable. I know what I did wasn't actually best, but the funny thing is Minlay is not actually playing this super precise. Like this is very much a, a position that I can play forever now. Let's go rook d1. Okay, let's just go g3, stop the mate threat. I have bishop f4. Um, I also have bishop g5, which is a reasonable move here. Bishop f4, queen c7 doesn't look right. So let's just, let's just defend. Let's just be stable, solid, try to use our two ops um, and win the game goes queen e7 so i'm just gonna retreat the bishop out of the line of fire let's go here rook d1 can play a3 and b4 i don't know if that's right here i don't think it is let's move my king yeah that's my plan um let's go a3 The bishop meta is so strong in this game. It is, yep. Probably I go queen f3 at some moment. Okay, I have queen f3 here. I think I will do it, just because there's still no capture. And e5 I just take. So let's see. I still want to go d5, but it doesn't work. Okay, I don't want to play b3. How do I do this? It's actually very tricky. Um... Start to expand this way. I think I'm gonna start to expand on the king side, maybe. I think that was a mistake, though. That was definitely a mistake, or was it? Maybe not. Okay. Bishop d2. Let's go here. Hit the pawn. Rook d4. I have bishop a5. If I get the bishop to c3, I think I'm very happy because I'm gonna play d5. Let's 
I'm also moving very fast, which is very useful here. I need a hard start for the 29. They had J threw it up for the for the 1,000 bits. Thank you so much. Puts a bishop back there. Now again, I have B4 at some moment. I also have C5. I don't like C5. G4 is no good. H5 is a move. I think I'm gonna play H5 just to basically fix the weakness, so that at some point I can use the diagonal. It's knight H7. Okay, now he's begging me to play D5. Okay, two trade. Tra D5 takes six. Knight at G5. Let's just go here, maybe. I'm going to drop the bishop out of the line so that I can open up this way as well. Okay, let's think about how I do this. D5, trade, trade is no good. Let's go back. Okay, how do I blast this? Hmm. What about queen d3? Let's just go queen d3. I want to go for mate. I want to go d5. This might be wrong, but I'm going to go for it. Is d5 not a move here? Let's just go for it. So I can take check and play like rookie one. He's getting mated, I think. Takes? <gasps> oh, I just blundered. Oh my gosh, I just blundered. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just blundered. I forgot he could just. Oh, yeah, yeah, I just blundered. Oh, shoot. That was. Oh my gosh, it was a huge blunder by me. Uh, Wait, bishop f6, rook d3, rook d3. Um, wait a second. Queen six check. Just blundered. Oh my gosh. That was a huge blunder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I should still be able to draw this, though, with some correct play. So as long as I'm smart and I stick to the plan, I should be able to draw this. Let's go. Let's just go here. Queen h5, I take. Should still be able to draw this if I'm smart. I should still be able to draw. So I just have to make sure I put everything on the opposite color, basically. Play g4, maybe? Just there. That's a logical move. Go here. And bring the king back. e5. I don't care. If he plays knight c3, it's a draw. I don't care. I'm just put everything on the opposite color. Because the bishop can't, um, he can't, whoops. This should be a draw if I play this correctly, but yikes. Wait, can I take or... Just go here, I guess. I don't know why I did that. That was probably a bad move. I do have f4, maybe? Let's just go f3. I don't want to blunder. Oh, he does it. Okay, now it's just a, now it's just a draw. Yeah, it's just a draw. Ah. Where was I winning? There should have been some way to win. There should have been some way. Yeah, there's probably there's probably there's probably some way there's probably some way to win this. I I mean maybe not win, but it's like point six as you guys see up in the corner. It's one of those positions where you have to sit and at the right moment there's some way to further advance. I don't ever it doesn't look like it was ever really winning, but <laughs> barely winning TT, I guess. <laughs> okay, good one, dude. Good one. Okay, so who is Exotic Princess playing? Yeah, maybe there's something. Okay, so Exotic Princess on nine, so it's actually not guaranteed that I'm gonna win. I thought it'd be a point ahead. But I'm not. So, um, yeah, so they're all on eight and a half. So basically, a draw guarantees first, more or less. A win is clear first. You can't lose TT. I just need to play a good game of chess. That's it. Um, I think, I, but the thing is, you know what's funny? I've played all the other people behind me. I've played him. I've played him. I've played him. I've played him. So I might have to play Dubov here. Uh, can I show why D5 was wrong? Well, the thing was on D5, for some reason, when I did it, I forgot that he could take. 
Although apparently I'm still better here. Wait, what? No, I'm not. The computer is insane. Yeah, I'm, I'm not better. Dubov just played a, a something and lost. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, I was probably I was definitely better, but it was never it was never a big enough advantage. It was just relative. Uh, Minlay should be a GM. Yeah, Minlay should be a GM. I I've said this many times on stream, but I feel like Minlay. Um, the Minlay, I I don't I think it's just he doesn't have tournaments to play. But there's no way. No, I was a draw Tayo day, unfortunately. But still, what it is. Apparently, I'm better after takes takes check. And Bishop A four. And here? And here? And here? Yeah, and okay, something like this, and computer says white's better, but yeah. Yeah, thank you to Ali Reza for the raid with 1352. Thank you so much to Ali Reza for the raid. Hope is all as well. Tough luck in that um that endgame against Andreken. He just uh, he really beats it up. That was that was pretty insane. Thank you to Cole Gongo for the 10, Square Cone for the two, thank you to Blind Tarman for the 420. Um, but you know, one two in a row, so that, that definitely is that definitely is a good start. Um yeah, where was my win in this game? I mean, computer says this is really good again. I mean, this is already so like bishop. Oh, because there's I guess rook b one. Yeah, I mean this is all pretty advanced. Like I would not expect myself to find it. Yeah, I think I have to play Daniil, right? I think I play Daniil this next game. So that's what it is. Could be better. It could be worse for sure. I mean, oh, it's Jeffrey. Okay. Mm. Jeffrey got to eight and a half too. Oh. He's gonna play this one. Okay, let's go C six. He plays A five. Um I don't think I don't recall that being the right move, but uh, this is a tricky line. You do have to know exactly what you're doing. Bishop E. So I'm gonna go. What is the move here? Let's think. Bishop E6 is a move. I don't know why it's not actually because F4. I just go G6. I think. Yeah. I think K Portella for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Because I saw B4, and I just want to go C5 and Queen D7 basically. Jeffrey's deep in the tank here. Okay, Bishop E3. So I'm I mean I think I just develop here in castle. Hmm. Pretty dry position. Um I think Queen C7 is supposed to be fine here with C5, because F4 I go G6. Knight B3, I just castle. Then I have c5. Okay, so I go g6 here. Oh, he's got knight b3, which I forgot about. But I just castle, I guess. Queen c3. So if I go c5, he wants b4, I guess. And then rook c8. I mean... c5, b4. Rook c8 takes, 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 takes. b1. I mean, it should... That should be a draw. This is trending towards a draw. I mean, maybe it's knight b3. Oh, he's got... Well, knight b3, I have b6, though. I'm not thrilled by my position, though. I will I will say that. Let's go here. Wait, actually, wait. Wait, now I can take with the bishop? Yeah, I can take with the bishop, and he can't take my queen because he loses the, the bishop. So he has to go, like, here or here, and then I can take the pawn. I'm definitely not worse. Where's queen e1? Maybe pawn takes was just better. Why didn't I do pawn takes? Whatever. Let's, let's make sure castles looks queens. Yeah, let's just castle. Let's let's get the get get out of the danger zone here. If knight d4, I just trade. Rook f2. I mean, I always have d4 if I want. I also have just queen c3. Um, again, this should be a draw with correct play. I just need to be a little bit careful with how I play this. I go. Hmm. 
f6 is also a move here i don't like f6 i don't love bishop e3 either let's see bishop f5 knight d4 So let's just go here and bishop e4 seems fine i hit the pawn at c2 jeffrey's had a big comeback though because remember earlier i was watching his game and he lost the game early to keith arkell so he's having a big comeback um now i can take obviously i don't want to i thought queen c3 was a pretty reasonable move just to try and kill the game i mean a draw is all i need here so if i can just draw this game but i'm thinking way too long bishop e4 knight b5 Shoot, I'm thinking way too long. Okay, let's just go here and take, I guess. Thinking way too long. Still, it's not that bad. It's just, it, it's not really... Well, okay, let's go rook c4. Let's try to force him to trade. If he doesn't trade, I also have h5. Let's just go here. g4, I can maybe sack. I can also go bishop e4. Goes there. Okay, I can play h5 if I want. Okay, actually, let's go, let's go here. Hit the rook. Now I have a5, a4 as well. Okay, let's go here, a4. Okay, if a4, he has rook b7. It's a bad move. Um, what am I doing? What am I do Uh, Bishop b4, no, no, no. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Just take a deep breath. Okay, let's just go here. Let's block. Thing is, Jeffrey has to win this game. Because now his king is also... Okay, let's go here. Let's force the rooks off. I think I go... Which square? This looks fine because I can just take and go over. There's no mate. I should not lose. Uh, I have queen b1. That's not. Let's go here. Hit the pawn. Oh, I have queen g3 also. Let's roll the pawn. This pawn is rolling. Let's go. I don't know if I have to go here, but I don't want to risk anything. He's got bishop g5, a queen e8. Queen f6, just bishop g7. Whatever, let's just go. That was a blunder. here um uh, whatever i'm just gonna go the pawn and go queen b8 go here because i have check let's go check um yeah whatever let's just make the draw enough nonsense just make the draw draw is fine here fine I don't even care I don't even care I just have to make the draw here it's there so okay play here yeah it's just a draw Wait, what? Yeah, okay. All right, it's a drawn game. Did Jobava win? He's still playing. Let's see. Jobava is actually better here. He might win this game. Warner, yeah, he's going to win this game. Wow. Good, good, good result for Jobava, though. He finds a way back. King g5. Check and rook c7. King f6. Seven, ninety-seven or ninety-six. 
So I'm not sure Joe Bob is going to win now. Rook out. Rook. King f6. This is a draw. King e It's a draw. Oh, Jabava misplayed it. King d6, and now the knight just stays forever. Actually, Minlay might even win now. Actually, that's the funny thing. Knight d4? Yeah, okay. Anyway, Minlay is not going to lose. So I'm going to win the tournament now. Yeah, thank you to Carrick for the 18. Thank you so much. Thank you to Bragglegirth as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Frustrating finish in a way. I would have loved to... I don't know. 9 out of 9, you always want more, but... It's still it's still gonna be a be a dub because um, there's no way that Minlay uh, Minlay will actually Minlay is gonna keep this game going forever but there's no way that it's not a um, that it's not a draw. Yeah, and now you just wait forever. Thank you VM VM forty two Lee for the prime. Thank you so much VM forty two Lee. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, that's it's what it is. It's good. It's a good um it's a good tournament dub. Yeah, I literally don't care, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, Wonderful Time should not accept a draw here because he can't lose. Even if he runs out of time, he can't... I mean, there's no way that he can lose the game. Um... Thank you, FlightCon, for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to FlightCon. Did, no, if Min... Min Chess.com uses uh, USCF rules, not FIDE. They use United States Chess Federation rules, not FIDE rules, so it would be a draw if he runs out of time here. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh, no, you just take and go Bishop F7. <laughs> Almost, not quite. The game ends in a draw. Probably the last game of the round, I think. Oh, the FIDE rules that if you can sell, if you can use your pieces and create a setup where you, uh, where you can checkmate yourself, then, um, then they consider it a loss. So I'll give you an example. Let, let me, um, let me pull this. This was wonderful time, right? I'll give you guys an example. Um, okay, let's pull this up. Uh, so let me give you an example. So right about here, let's just say white runs out of time. You're just like, okay, well, you can't checkmate. King and bishop, no checkmate. The way that the way that yes, yeah, so we went we win the event with 10 out of 11. Second place is Dimitri on Drake and nine and a half. Third place is uh Joe Bava Badur with also nine and a half out of eleven. So the this is the way that you can lose this, of course, is so for example, you know, it's like let's just say I make random moves. Your this this position um is a draw. Black cannot checkmate with a king and a bishop here. But what what the FIDE rule book says is that basically in this position, black cannot checkmate with a king and a bishop. But if you can self-checkmate yourself then um then you lose the game so how can i i'm trying to figure out if there's a let me think about what's a setup where i can miss it's a light it's a light it's a light color bishop though so you can't made in a light color yes actually you can okay let me give you an example um so let me give you an example so what you do is you're like okay okay boys i'm gonna make i'm gonna make a bishop i'm gonna put my king in the center or not center on the edge of the board you'll be like oh well i'm gonna go here go here here I'm gonna go here and then just like I'm gonna checkmate myself so this is like the Ali Reza Ali Reza situation where it's like in order for for me to lose this game with white if we go all the way back here I have to mispromote my pawn and I have to sort of force myself to checkmate I have to I have to checkmate myself um oh uh is oh there's also a way to do it yeah like here here yeah you can go like here and also Oh, wait, no, sorry. You go like here and bishop b7, and this is checkmate also. But the point is that, of course, no human being is ever going to do that. Like, literally no human being would do that. So I actually think the rule book, that notion of the self-checkmate should should be changed. I think it's wrong. I, I just firmly believe the rule is wrong. Um, yeah, I think the rule is wrong. Like, you have to self-checkmate yourself. I, I just think the rule is fundamentally wrong. Thank you to H. Carter for the eight months. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, you guys, going to take a short break. Go run to the restroom. I will be right back, and um, we'll keep rolling along.